Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick uh, Cisco packet tracer here for the CCNA. Um, I'm kind of like uh, studying for CCNA right now. It's uh, network communication management, uh, network engineering. But anyways, I'm going to do a couple of quick configurations on a, some, uh, a router and a couple of switches. And um, kind of give you the concept of everything. So I'm going to set up uh, two networks, we'll call uh, one is network one and the second network, network two. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down on my notepad, it'll be a one network slash uh, 24. If you don't know what slash 24 is, that's a subnet mask slash 24. And we'll go ahead and um, I'll put the 192.168, the two network here. Uh, also a slash 24 and what I want to do is for this topology I want to kind of get together and uh, show or send it like show a little example of how networking is done I mean most people know um, networking I you see 192.168 you know IP address you know that's your address to connect to the internet or every single device has one of these addresses so I'll put a PC up and on the PC I'm going to uh, put the one address in. I'll configure this PC uh, statically. That means I personally choose the address it wants to be. Dot one dot two or two. It's a slash twenty four, so that's two five five two five five two five five dot zero. And I'll put a gateway, even though we don't have a router yet. But I'm going to configure my router to be a, uh, uh, the dot one or the one, the first usable um, um, IP address. So there it is. We got the PC one up there. And what you, what I'm going to do is what well what I like to do is for the <clears throat> for the display name I like putting the address up for pinging. So I put dot two, make sure that's up, okay. And whoa, it didn't go on. Display name. It's not working. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, there it is. Display name. Okay. So in the future, I know exactly what PCs I could ping. And. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to ping nothing there, so I'm going to put another address, another one here, and I'll put this one as the two network. And I'll just put the address physically, or two network. That one's going to be. Well, we'll leave. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave this one in the what network too, because the I'm going to leave uh, static. All right. Okay, and you can see here I'm putting it's in the same network, the one network, but it's going to be uh, dot three, and that is going to be the display name. Okay, so that should be okay. So these two computers right here are are both in the same network should I say the same home you can say whatever so there goes our switch and I'll put the switch oops it's still loading up so but I, I could do this make it faster okay I'm gonna put switch as switch one and I'm gonna go ahead and connect these switches One network there we go so these are connected same network connected to this switch here and this is a, a land one local LAN that's all it is so I'm gonna go ahead and ping to see if they communicate with each other 
I'm on the three computer. I'm gonna ping to the two computer. And I get a reply. Okay. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm gonna to try to I'm gonna go ahead and add a router. And with this router, I'm gonna connect. Oops. And this router is gonna be R1 and I'm gonna get a cable straight through cable and we're gonna connect that there and I'm gonna put another switch here get another cable oops uh, okay fast Ethernet okay and um, so we got two networks with one router you notice how on this side of the PCs these PCs could talk to each other they don't know nothing about this but they do have a gateway and the gateway is 1.1 so I'm gonna configure this output that's the gateway to go out 1.1 and I'm gonna configure this one to be 2.1 yep so what I gotta do is I gotta configure this router. That's why these lights are red because it's not configured. You come on here, you open up the ACL, it's nothing on there. What I like to do is I go ahead and grab a laptop because this is more like a simulator and you're gonna get a console cable and with this console cable you're gonna go ahead and connect to the console and you're gonna go through your PC, through the terminal port same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and configure this router if I, I don't want to explain too much but I'm gonna go ahead and configure the router but you could go ahead and look at the screen and show the configurations I'm gonna put passwords and at the end I will save it so enable I put that host name so you know um, I'll say one quick thing without this host name when you're uh, doing network engineering when you're dealing with a lot of switches and routers you could really get lost and you won't know exactly what router you're in or for troubleshooting so I'm gonna go ahead and name it because I'm gonna build off this on multiple videos so secret uh, class oops Oops, let's go log in. Okay. Um, right there, what I did is I uh, set up passwords for my line console zero and the VT, VTY line. And um, so I can log in and you'll have secure passwords and stuff like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do the interfaces. Okay, as you can see here, uh, line protocol on interface fast ethernet 00 has changed to up. If you notice here on the top, it's green. So let me go ahead and do the other one. With the two network. You notice here, uh, line protocol on fast ethernet 0.1 has changed to up. So now you notice that both of these are up. But what I wanna do that is different from the uh, one network, instead of static, I wanna make this one dynamic or DHCP, what we call. So when you connect your computer, it will automatically 
on S2 will send out your IP addresses to all your computers down here and with a 24 subnet mass a 24 subnet mass means that you can have up to 254 hosts and that works let me um i got a quick diagram here and this diagram right here will be a slash 24 and you will see here host 254 you go ahead and pause the video and look at this diagram to see you know the different um slashes the ciders and different stuff like that so let me go ahead and um, configure the router I'm leaving a lot of stuff out because I want to make these videos quick as possible so I could just move on to the next stuff because um, this is real basic configuration so I'm gonna go ahead and um, exit and do the uh, HDCP DHCP I mean okay what I just did it did there is IP DHCP exclude addresses um, 192.168.2.1 and 2.5 those are the first five addresses you don't have to do five addresses you can maybe just do two but um what I'm doing there is for future expansion well the one is obviously already used it's right here if you look up here on the FA01 the 2.1 is being used for the gateway so I don't want that one to be used at all but um, 2 through 5 I might have external uh, printers or something that needs to be static that does not the addresses don't change everything else is let's just say I'm running a corporation or or um, a business where I have just these multiple computers and they're not very expensive computers a lot of them break and when you swap machines you just want the addresses to go ahead and just automatically uh, be uh, submitted for these computers without you know calling an IT guy to come and give it an address you know just saves money there so go ahead and hit that and I'm gonna ho go ahead and configure the ports or not the ports but the ad I have to make a pool for it here let me just do it Okay, what I just did there is I configured it. And hold on. You always do the copy. Okay. What I just did that right here was I copied running config, startup config. So when the router turns off and turns back on, the configurations are, are there. So now, for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and grab... Um, two PCs and PC1, uh, PC2 and 3, right? Let's go ahead and grab them and connect them. Okay. And you're going to see here, first of all, I got to let the uh, switch go ahead and um these lights have to turn green from amber to green and you will see the two network here I'll put this right here and we will see that the connectivity will the DA, uh, the DHCP will go ahead and work so come to your configuration table to see if it works boom there it is required successfully and okay required successfully and so now that this network we know it communicates with this router but let's see if any of these PCs could connect to this PC so we're gonna go ahead and ping it this is what we use for troubleshooting so you're gonna go ahead and ping 2.168.1.2 
and see if we get a reply. Sometimes it may take some time because it has to learn a MAC address. There you go. Reply. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I want you to go ahead and uh, describe to my channel and I'm going to go ahead and um, start uploading these videos hopefully like once a, a, a week or so and I'm going to build off this topology as a network engineer and I'm going to go ahead and, and build off this. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and uh, disconnect this uh, laptop. Uh, there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and put the laptop here for now and I got these two networks so these two networks right here they could uh, talk to each other they could communicate they have no access to um, to the internet right now because I need to set up an ISP or something or this is local area network there's no land I mean there's no um, WANs there's no wide area network yet which that will be in further videos so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.